Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing this dude right here. So it doesn't really matter which color you guys got. If you got the neon one, it's going to be the exact same thing inside. The color difference is the only difference. Other than that, around the box, there isn't that much information. Anyways, let's just get started with the unboxing. So right away, we see our switch. Let me just take that out, put it on the side. It's just some information. Here we've got the adapter which is exactly what we need if we want to hook it up to our TV, for example. We've got some cables that we need. So these are HDMI cables that we get with this. Here is our charger. So by the way, you can directly connect this up to your switch or you could hook it up to your adapter, which I'm going to show you later on. Now we also have this for our Joy-Cons, just in case we want to use it as a controller. And of course, we would get two of these guys that we have to slide in right away. So right now on the table is everything you would get inside the box. Let me just put this here so you guys can see it a little bit better. This is just your HDMI cable. We've got our charger right here. We've got this for our Joy-Cons. This is also for our Joy-Cons. Nintendo Switch right here. And this is the guy, which looks a lot better white. I do have the black one. And I am digging the white version of it for sure. Looks a little bit more sleek. Now remember guys, this is just an unboxing video, so we're gonna get to see everything that comes in the box, but that's about it. I do have a setup video, plus a review, where you guys could see this in action. Other than that, we're just gonna get to see in this video exactly what you guys get inside the box. So again, this is just an adapter, and we would just slide these guys in here if we wanted to, so that's an option. We don't have to do this. This is just in case you wanna play like this. I would recommend getting a pro controller if you want to play something like Fortnite or something like that. It's something that you might get a better experience. And of course, we got these. We can just slide them in this way. Try not to slide them the wrong way sometimes. Well, they don't get stuck anymore, but they used to, especially when the first version came out. So the plus sign and then the minus sign. So we want the minus sign to be the same thing on top of here. But yeah, so basically this would go around your wrist. And we, you would use this for certain games. So there are games that require you to wear this. Now, I've already showed you guys the charger, but here it is. And yeah, it's a USB-C, which is awesome. And the HDMI cable that comes with your Switch looks actually pretty heavy duty. Looks pretty good. Now, here is the dock. Now, the dock is useful, especially if you want to hook this up to your TV. Because so you can do that. I'm just going to open it up, pop that open. And right here, we can see all the connections that we can do. So here's our HDMI. We can go ahead and yeah, you can use ethernet cable. So if you run again competitive games or you don't wanna lag, you would use that. Now here's our AC adapter, which is that came with our switch. So we have that. So you plug all those here if you would want to put your switch and you would just place your switch in here and then you can just run it on your TV. It's really, really simple. I do have a video showing you how to do that anyways. So right now I'm just gonna pop this in there. As long as you're not using that, you don't need that. You do have two ports on the side as well. On the other side, there's nothing, but these were all cables are running from. On the bottom, there's nothing either, and that's it. It's really, really simple design. Now let's take a look at the switch. Well, the switch looks kind of weird just like this. So let's set it up with the Joy-Cons. Now these guys just slide on the side. So that's how you would use it if you're gonna use this as a portable switch, like a switch light because you don't really need a TV or anything to play this. If you take a look at the top, which is the power button, volume buttons, then we can connect a headset right there, game card, which by the way, you do not need to purchase game cards. You guys can purchase games online and just download them into your Switch. Here, we can just hook up our Switch. And then the cool thing about this Switch versus the previous one is that you have this. So you could stand it up this way, for example. So you do have this type of like stand here that just pops open and we can angle it at whatever angle. Because before we had to actually buy an adapter in order to do that with the old switch. So it's a good thing that they made that. It doesn't look that great. It feels pretty durable. This, on the other hand, feels really, really thin plastic. So I wouldn't be surprised if people dropped it and just cracked it right away. Again, if they dropped it. Other than that, it should be okay. I'm gonna open it up the whole way. Because it does open up like so. And then in here, we will notice that there's a micro SD card. 
So again, you do not need to put one in there, but if you want more storage, that's what you want to do. You want to put your micro SD card there. So you can buy one that's four switch and those are a little bit better. You could format it with any SD card technically, but if you get one that's for Nintendo Switch, they do tend to work a tiny little bit better. So I would suggest getting one of those, especially when it comes down to formatting and all that stuff, they just work better. Other than that, most of you would just have your Joy-Cons on the sides. And if you take a look at the Joy-Cons, you have this on the back, you have this to unlock, you've got this button, this right here, these buttons, and this, which is also another button. And this back here, by the way, that's just to unlock. So you can't really slide this off until you actually press on there. Then you can slide it off. So you don't have to press right there. So that's just to lock it up. Other than that, there's not much more to look at when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. And yes, this is the new version, the OLED model that just came out. So there are a few differences when it comes to the Joy-Cons. Plus the screen size is significantly bigger. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.